Am I the asshole for disappearing and causing my parents to lodge a missing persons report? I, F27, have been married to my wonderful husband, M30, for five years but we have been together for seven years in total. In all that time, my parents, F58 and M60, have never really taken a shining to him, but everyone has always been amicable. That is, everyone except my sister, F22, who seems to think that the world revolves around her. She is the light of my parents' lives, and can do absolutely no wrong in their eyes. Simply put, my husband and I generally keep our distance from her. Last weekend was my dad's 60th birthday, and everyone was invited. My husband and I went knowing that my sister would be there, but we didn't think too much of it. We expected a pleasant evening celebrating my dad. It is important to note before we go further that my husband follows certain dietary restrictions as part of his religion, which I am keeping vague, but everyone in the family knows and has been accommodating thus far. Unfortunately, after everyone had eaten dinner, my sister announced that she had specifically asked the caterers to add in some of the restricted food items so that she could test, if, my husband, would even know the difference. To say the least, I was. Furious. Just for clarification purposes. The restricted ingredients were added into sauces and there were no noticeable pieces. My husband and I were both absolutely appalled, and just walked out while my sister yelled that she, didn't get the big deal, and we need to take the sticks out of our butts. My parents had absolutely nothing to say and just watched. They later texted me that I should consider the fact that my sister is young and didn't know better. I did not respond. I guess that leads me to the title. I have absolutely gone no contact with everyone since the party and have not responded to a single message or phone call. Nor has my husband. When my parents showed up at the house, we did not open the door. When they showed up at my work, I did not go to reception. I have not laid eyes on them at all. Today, some cops knocked on the door saying that they had received a missing persons report and were looking for me. Fortunately that was all solved quite quickly and that I never actually went missing. But now my friends are saying that I wasted police resources when I could have just texted my parents back saying that I didn't want to hear from them. I just feel like a grown woman should not have to justify where she is to her parents. Not the asshole. You didn't waste police resources. Your parents did by filing a bogus report that you were missing. Of course they knew you were upset with them and refusing their contact attempts. You might allow a channel from them if you think that they plan to apologize but not if they're just going to make excuses again for your sister's awful behavior. Not the asshole. You didn't waste any resources, your parents did. I don't believe for a second they thought you were missing. They know you have gone no contact for what the golden child did. They were trying to provoke you to respond. Not the asshole. Your parents wasted police resources, and your sister is absolutely old enough to know better. That's why she didn't tell anyone she did it. Am I the asshole for calling my sister's wedding a knockoff of my own? I have always been the favorite among my siblings. As the baby of the family and the only boy, I got doted on a little extra. This extra doting increased when I expressed an interest in dance and actually discovered a talent for it. This makes sense in my mind. My schedule required more time and money devoted to it since I now had to be taken to classes and showcases, needed the proper attire, etc. There were a few years of tension between my sisters and I, especially during our teen years, where it seemed like they blamed me for what was going on or expected me to apologize for our parents' choices something I adamantly refused to do. Tensions seemed to ease some when we went our separate ways. My sisters stuck around in our hometown to get jobs while I moved to a city about an hour away for college. I met my now husband there and despite what my parents tried to talk us into, we got married in a tiny ceremony at the local courthouse where only immediate family was present. We had a party with our close friends and family later to celebrate, but the ceremony itself was just like we wanted. A small part of an intimate and peaceful day focused on my partner and I. My oldest sister got engaged a couple months ago, and my parents jumped at the chance to start planning an over-the-top wedding. I've been around for some of it and a lot of what is being offered to the new happy couple is what was suggested to my husband and I when they were trying to convince us to have a big wedding. This didn't bother me at all. In fact, I was happy my sister was getting what seemed like the wedding of her dreams. Unfortunately, it seems she's still holding a grudge over what happened when we were kids and has made multiple jokes about how, she's the favorite now, and that this is, payback, for all the things she missed out on when I was being chauffeured to dance practice. I took the first few in stride, but it's getting tired now that it's been repeated so many times. 
I recently told her the jokes were getting old, but that still didn't stop her. I finally had enough last night and after a few drinks at a little weekend family get-together, I told her that her wedding was essentially a knockoff of mine, and that I doubted our parents would be putting this much effort in had I gone through with the extravagant plans they had wanted me to a few years ago. She left the room in tears and I've gotten mixed reactions from family over what I said. Am I the asshole? ETA. I have no interest in special attention from my parents and moved on from the feud with my sisters years ago, as I thought they had as well. I live a good distance from them all with a life of my own, and can only make it back to visit a few times a year. This doesn't stem from me craving attention. I'm glad my sister is getting all of it, as my parents have a tend to hover even all these years later. My complaint is in the repeated jokes despite my request that they stop. Yes you are the asshole, and it sounds like you've been the asshole their entire lives. You happily soaked up your parents' attention, knowing you were the favorite, and didn't even care that they didn't share your golden child status. Then the second the attention was off of you, you decide to try to attack as low as you can instead of being happy that your siblings actually got to experience some of the rarefied air you've been in your entire life. Your sibling taunts you because you are entitled and spoiled and not very likable as a result. You taunted her because you are mean and resent not being the center of attention. You are the asshole. OMG, you are insufferable. For just your tone, you are the asshole. You are the asshole. I can't imagine weaponizing the poor decisions of my parents against a sibling that was clearly hurt by them. Am I the asshole for threatening to leave my daughter's wedding because of her rules? My, 48M, daughter's, 26F, wedding was yesterday. She moved back to our home state of Utah with her fiancé after living in Boston for college and dental school. She does not seem happy to be back here and said that she only moved back because her husband's, 28M, company transferred him here. She knows that in our area, families run large. She is one of three kids only because my wife, 47F, became sick after our youngest but it is not uncommon to have families of eight. When she started planning her wedding she started worrying about venue capacity and having to spend money on babysitters. For couples with small kids on her list she made it clear that she could not accommodate kids for or under at this wedding. That caused a lot of ire and we got phone calls asking why. My daughter's rationale was that she thought older kids would enjoy a party more. My daughter's younger sister, Ashley, 24F, has been married for two years and begged her sister to invite her husband's brother and his wife to this wedding too. Ashley's brother-in-law, 41M, and his wife, 33F, have five kids, four of whom are under the age of four. When they RSVP'd they indicated they'd only be bringing their eight-year-old daughter. I know Ashley's husband's brother well as he funded my brother's new business and employs Ashley's husband, my son-in-law, in a job that allows Ashley and him to be full-time parents to their kids. However, that side of the family took a while to warm up to Ashley as they are wary to newcomers. So the day of the wedding comes and everybody arrives with the kids they RSVP'd for and then Ashley brother-in-law arrives early with all five of their kids in tow. The nanny they have for their kids is not there. My daughter is angry when she hears of this and their explanation is that their younger kids were upset and they wanted to be in these wedding pictures too. An argument ensues where my daughter says that they had on call nannies and just for whatever reason decided this was the event they didn't want to leave their kids for. I look over and Ashley is getting upset and her brother-in-law and Syl won't budge. The toddlers are getting anxious and starting to loudly cry and I finally tell my daughter to just let them in or we'd be here forever. She asked why I was taking their side and I finally say that she either lifts this child-free policy for family or just cancel the wedding because I was done with her rules and leaving. My daughter says, really dad? Way to take sides. She then stormed off and there was a minute where she considered walking down the aisle with her future Phil. She ended up relenting but says her wedding is marred by this event. Am I the asshole? I was afraid that this would become this standoff and Ashley would face ire from her in-laws. You are the asshole. She didn't want small children at her wedding. You chose to side against her and try to force the issue. You're in the wrong. You are the asshole x 10,000. Child-free weddings exist for a reason. The children, especially toddlers, get restless and annoying. You decided to side against her on her wedding rules. You wanted to force her to allow kids there. This is not your wedding. Did you read your post? You are the asshole you clearly have a favorite and it's not the nameless daughter that just got married. Father of the year. Way to ruin your daughter's special day and probably your relationship with her and her side of the family. 
How do you think all the other people felt when they saw four toddlers walking in after being told they couldn't bring their own? Dot. Hope kissing Ashley's in-law's family's ass was worth it. That's clearly everything you seem to care about. Am I the asshole for asking my dill to stop making social media posts that make me look bad? I have a son, Ryan, M22. Ryan has a wife, Holly, F22. They got married and moved in together around four months ago after dating for three years. I'm really happy for them. There's just a small problem, though. Holly has recently started making posts on social media with jokes about how horrible mothers-in-law are, all the time. When seeing them, I thought I did something to upset Holly. I asked her about it and she insisted that I hadn't upset her, and that she just posts them because she thinks they're funny. I asked Ryan about it and he said that Holly never seemed upset at me and told me I'm overthinking it. But Holly keeps making these posts. The rest of my family have even been asking me if everything is okay between me, Ryan and Holly because they've seen the posts too. The last straw was when Holly made a post about, arguments with monsters in law. Now everyone in my family thinks I argued with Holly when that didn't even happen. I asked Holly about it again and she said that once again, she just posted it because she thought it was funny, not anything actually personal to me. I told Holly that she's making me uncomfortable and that she's making my family think I'm being horrible to her. Holly said that's not her problem and that people need to learn how to take a joke. I asked Holly to please stop making these posts because people aren't going to interpret them that way. Holly said I'm being unreasonable and told me I can't tell her what to do, and said I'm a bossy jerk. Not the asshole. Holly is 100% doing this on purpose. If she has an issue with you, she should talk to you about it like a reasonable adult instead of making passive-aggressive posts. Also, allowing everyone else in your family to believe that you had an argument with her that didn't happen is incredibly manipulative on Holly's part. Location flag. Not the asshole. Holly is passive-aggressively bullying you and calling it funny. She has no need to post those and you've clearly said it's causing you emotional harm. She's acting like a childish jerk. Over and over. Not the asshole. Google bad dill memes. Post a few. Comment on them that you thought it was funny. It just might escalate the situation enough for Holly to get honest. Not the asshole. Sounds like she wants a JN Mill just to be part of the in-laws from Hell Club or something. Just stop biting or bringing it up to her cause she'll use it as ammo.